It's your boy, Jesus of the Prodigy, and uh, I'm about to title this George Floyd Murdered by Police. Just because I'm trying to get some clickbait. Anyway, it's ridiculous what's going on. Yeah, like for real. Y'all falling victim to the trap that George Soros has created. I don't really know much about George Soros except that he's 89 years old and that he's an investor and he's behind the Antifa group that's infiltrating what America, I mean, that's infiltrated the Black Lives Matter movement and the protests and everything. And you got cops that are being infiltrated probably by a much larger police entity, better known as the FBI and a lot of shit, to follow orders to go ahead and incite a race war, to continue to blame the protesters and the rioters for looting. Even some of the people that are looting are actual citizens, and some of the people that are looting aren't citizens. They're being sent by the fucking federal government. And it's just crazy because, you know, a lot of black kids have been kidnapped and raped and molested by these rich white men and even celebrities that we know. I mean, Hillary Clinton and all these other people and shit, they they have indictment numbers. You know, people are starting to wake up to the fact that Hillary, you know, Hillary got a case on her, you know what I'm saying? Bill Gates has been, (laughs) he has, um, I, I think like about a half a million people have signed a petition to get Bill Gates arrested because of the vaccines. And because of the fact that he's been funding China and who and all that other shit and was behind the coronavirus, people are starting to realize that this coronavirus is a fucking hoax. I mean, not a hoax, but it's a, it's a, um, this shit was bioengineered. You had so many doctors coming out on video trying to let the public know, like, do not fall for this coronavirus shit. Judy Mikovich, who was on Young Pharaoh's show, you know what I'm saying? If you don't know Young Pharaoh, he he's been interv- he interviewed Judy Mikovich. He interviewed Dr. Shiva, who's running for Senate in Boston. I hope he becomes a senator in Boston because he he's all about herbs and all about natural remedies to deal with colds and shit. Like he he you know what I'm saying? These people were exposing the deep state and the CNN and all these other news other news entities are trying to slander Donald Trump's name. You know what? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna go ahead and put Donald Trump and Joy Floyd as a, a title bait. And now that I see that Donald Trump is not the enemy, I see that he's trying to bring out peace as best as he can. And as a president, you're gonna go ahead and try to make sure that you could keep looters from destroying businesses. He even exposed the fact that Antifa is the one that's behind this bullshit that's going on. But yet, people are just brainwashed. You know what I'm saying? Black people are brainwashed. The only time black people give a fuck about being black, the only time game bangers want to tie their rag is when something tragic happens. It's like when we have a funeral, and the only time you see relatives you will never see again is when somebody in the family dies. So it takes somebody to die or somebody to get hurt, but mostly to die for everybody to come together. That's ridiculous. That just shows that you're not sincere. It just shows no sincerity in your heart that you don't give a fuck. Honestly, I think people need to protest for where are the kidnapping, where are the kids that are kidnapped who are being organ harvested? Where are the kids being kidnapped who are probably being ritually sacrificed? Where are the kids that are being kidnapped? Why are there kids in, where, where's the protest for the Jeffrey Epstein victims on the Virgin Islands? Like, for real. These celebrities have been interacted with Jeffrey Epstein, now the FBI is about to crack down on him. I don't even expect my shit to get a lot of views, but I'm just saying. Y'all motherfuckers is crazy, man. It just goes to show that the government knows how to psychologically control the mass. Because they know what drives the emotions to get there, to continue to play chess. Hey, they playing chess, my nigga. We playing checkers. They're close to checkmate. They've been close to checkmate a lot. But they haven't won the chess game yet. We can beat them in their chess game. We just got to be smart and organized properly. And strategize. It's just fucking crazy in here, man. It's just crazy. And all the black people who think Joe Biden is the answer. No, that nigga is the cancer. 
Trump is not really a bad person. I'm not saying he's all that, but he's really not bad as it seems. Shit is just crazy, man. People just don't use their mind anymore. It just aggravates me. <laughs> you can't get a peace of mind, bro. Because one minute, the end of the world is coming. The next minute, hope is here. The next minute, a distraction is there in front of your face. A cop killed the black man, which is probably hired by the fucking FBI or whatever. It's probably not even a regular cop. George Floyd probably wasn't even a regular black man. This shit is premeditated. This shit was planned to distract the people, to distract the mass from waking up. Now, we're all back to sleep. I'm not back to sleep, but other people are back to sleep. Anyway, that, I, I probably might make more videos because I just want to express myself. Usually, I express myself on Facebook, but I've been banned for 30 days to comment because I said any Haitian who voted for Hillary Clinton is stupid. And Hillary Clinton was at my graduation in 2017. Anyway, I'm out. Peace.